Hey guys, what's up? It is <clears throat> May 14th, and I have a couple things to show you, and some of the stuff I've already sent to their forever homes. Um, one of the items that I sent off was the um, angel pig with the butterfly wings. So... It should be on its way and uh, arriving back in the Midwest somewhere. So, um, this weekend was the Tidewater Comic Con, and my daughter had a booth, and so I went there for that. And <clears throat> while I was there, apparently, I had a doppelganger running around. And so I met up with my doppelganger and and I'm not sure why. Let me see. Oh, I'm sorry, it's like it's hot today and I'm tired. It's just been very tiring lately. At Google. Let's see. I don't know why I didn't save that particular picture over at Google. <coughs> But, so, it's, it's been alright lately. Um, I made a m and &M. If you guys follow me on Etsy, you saw it. Pictures of it. I want, I was trying to hurry up and get it done. Because, um, it took me a couple of weeks to do it. Because there's, I wasn't using a pattern. So, it was a lot of trial and error. Just looking at the picture on the M&M &M bag and trying to do the best I could um there we go but um yeah it was a lot of fun we had a lot of fun so anyway I don't know if you guys can see that but there we go. That's me and my doppelganger. And the thing about it is, she actually has a twin sister. <laughs> and, um, so I'll show you guys the bear as well. Being uh, m, &M. Yeah, So there's the m, &M that I made. And this is the pig that just got shipped off to its forever home. And I finished that hat I was making from the yarn I purchased from... Um, Baba's uh, about a year ago, so I finished that hat, and that's what the hat looks like. So it came out real nice. I was playing yarn chicken. I probably had maybe a yard left, if that, of the yarn. And I also got a new drop spindle from Maryland Sheep and Wool, but I had my friend Ashley get it for me. Okay, and um, I'll show it to you guys. And this is it. So this is the new drop spindle. You can't really see the, the orange is more yellowed out there, but it's more of a it's a darker orange than what's showing on, on camera. And it's got this purple 
on the inside and it's also say on the back it's got the largest piece of purple back here and this yarn that I'm spinning is some fiber that I bought from where did I get this from I don't remember I think I got it from Maryland Shipping Wool last year that I went and that's all I have left and so I'll show you guys I've been spinning it up on my <clears throat> Jim's turnstiles drop spindles. So yeah. So well not Jim's. What's his name? Mm. Bills. I think it's Bills. But anyway, here are the drop spindles I've been spinning up on. It was a gradient um, um fi fiber. And I'm on the bright red part now. So I've been, and when I change colors, you know, I've been switching to a different draw spindle. So I'm spinning those, and and I'm knitting on. Oh, here's the hat. So here's the hat. It's finished. The colors on as vibrant as outside. So. It fits my son perfectly, so it's probably gonna become his hat. Um, I didn't. I got some artwork from there. It's way over there. I don't feel like getting. I'm getting. I'll show it on another video. But I got some more taco earrings for my daughter's uh, shop for the focus. And I also got the taco pendant this time. So yeah. It ain't focusing. I don't feel like it's warm outside today. And I don't feel like turning the light on. I also got this pendant. And it has the shell inside of it. One of my daughter's friends, she made that. And then we have... I only have one pair of them though. Sharon made me some more socks. This is one pair of them. I love them. Love them, love them, love them. And the other pair is, I've already worn those. And they're in the laundry to get hand washed and hung up at home so that they don't disappear ever, 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 ever again. <laughs> But I love these socks. I just love them. Love them, love them, love them. And thank you again, Sharon, for, for helping me out with that. Hooking me up. Um, so what's on the uh, spindles right now is I started spinning this today while I was working, waiting for my husband. And so I split that last piece of the gradient up into four pieces. And so this is one of the pieces right here. And this is a Chinese coin from like one of their um, New Year's. And, and this spins really fast. And uh, I love this spindle. I dropped it one year, so just a little piece of it broke off right there, but it's okay. <clears throat> Push come to shove, I can always find another chopstick. So that's what I'm spinning right now. Um, I haven't spun on my spinning wheel in a while, but once I start plying this, I'll be using the spinning wheel for sure. Um, I'll scooch back and get back so y'all can see. But I've been work. I'm still working on my poncho. I only got two balls of this sparkly red left. So I worked on it some. Uh, a couple weeks ago when we went out of town I worked on it but I was mostly working on those Mickey Roomies and stuff to get them finished stuffies, whatever you want to call them thing but I uh, got two more balls of yarn to put in it and then my red poncho would be done I gotta do a goat and I was looking at patterns for the goat Today I can reach this and I'll grab it so y'all can see it. Okay. 
So, this was the bag that this pendant came in. I can show it to you. Okay. That you guys can see like that. but it's it's uh iridescent the background is iridescent on the shell it's hard to see in this lighting but yeah <clears throat> I don't think she put her card in the bag no nope. She didn't put her card in the bag, so I will tell you what the name of her thing is. Let me see. I have it. No, I don't have her card. And so I'll show you guys the artwork I got. And this artist is usually I get more stuff. His is um I don't know if it's gonna show up right for you guys, but it's X tell illustration and this is his information. If you wanna hopefully it's showing up for you guys. A normal way. There we go. But yeah, I like his artwork. That's just like the kind of stuff. And the person who was there was Gates McFadden. She was like the big name person that was there this year. Um, but he contributes to this. Um, paper, newspaper, magazine type thing, um, called the Magic Bullet, and so he made a compilation of all his contributions to it in this little book here. I can find it. There it is. And so I got the book. It was only like five bucks. Okay. And I love that dragon on the cover. So I got a print of the dragon. So yeah. This is just like, you know, I, like I said, these are his con artwork contributions that came in that magazine um, newspaper theme. He wanted a way to have a, a record of it. So then I got. You buy two prints, get one free. So I got the dragons, right? And I got another one for my husband. Because he loves Deadpool. So I'll show you the dragons first. So this is the print that I got. One of the prints that I got. See, there's the dragon. In there. And I, my daughter said this is from that TV show. I don't watch it, so she said I will probably like it, but I don't think so. And then this is the cover art on this book. The background makes me think of Freelancer. So that's pretty cool. Freelancer has some amazing, and so does Eve Online. Amazing space graphics. Love it. And then this was the Deadpool. Yeah, print that I got from my husband. So those were my print pickups. And I gotta start getting these things framed and hung up. That's one of my projects for next year is to start getting my prints framed and hung up. And so then I went over to my daughter's other friend's booth and you guys might remember her because I got the mer pug, the mermaid pug from her booth. That, um, and so I went over to her booth and I got a print and I think it's spirited away that these slip balls come from 
or Howl's Moving Castle is one of them. And then I also got a pen, a Merpug pen from her booth. And it's not a pug this time, it's one of those corgis. So this is a Mer Corgi pen. Come on, focus. Focus. So, yeah. So, yeah. Those were my purchases. Everything else I spent money on was for my son. He's a big, he's big into anime and stuff. So, So, what have you guys been up to? What have you guys been running around terrorizing people with? So, that's, that's it. That's all I got. Like I said, I've already given away all the paper phone up on the floor. Um, sent to the people all the stuff I've made so far. Um, oh, I didn't show you all this. Let me see. So the blue, the blue pig, he's already gone to his forever home too. And, uh, and then this baby blanket, well not a blanket, it's one of the baby um, snugglies that I make, baby cocoons. It's, it's being used, Let's see if I can find it for y'all. They said he loves that. Loves it. They said he gets mad when you take him out of it. And that's pretty much what I hear from other people who I've given that to. That their babies love them. And I have a big baby that tried to get back into hers. <laughs> but it's too, it's too small now. Dora. Delora. Dolores. Delora. <clears throat> see if I can find it and I'll show y'all. Mm, I thought she sent it to me. A picture of her trying to get in it. Oh well. But that's it. That's all I got. So, um... Um, what I'm working on is I want to finish spinning up that yarn so I can get it uh, plied up. I want to clean my desk back off because after all that trouble I went through getting it cleaned off, it's messy again. Um, I want to finish my shawl. I want to the, finish the goat. And I also have to do a doobie, doby, dobby, whatever the hell his name is. I got to do that for um, someone. And I want to finish my foxglove socks. And I want to finish the fingerless gloves I was working on. Um, using the, what is it called? I've forgotten them. So I want to finish these. Seed stitch. And um, reverse, what is it? There's something else. Seed stitch. I don't remember. Ah. Uh, I'm getting old, y'all. Let me put these needles up before I lose them. These are my DPNs, my Zing DPNs. I love these needles. I wish I had, I need to order some of the longer ones, the um, for for the, the longer double points for like hats and stuff like that. And um, yeah, cause I love those Zings. So this is the sock. This is how long it is now. Now, mind you, I have uh, long feet. I have big feet. 
as Sharon. <laughs> you, I'm only five foot for, uh, four, but I have the feet of a woman who is a six foot. So yeah, something happened and stunted my growth. But um, yeah, I should just send this to Sharon to finish my socks. <laughs> but that is it. That's everything I have going on. Oh, my friend Ashley, she she also found me a sweater. I forgot where she said she was at. But Ashley is mixed plate 84 on Ravelry. But she found me this gorgeous sweater. Look at it. It's an awesome, awesome cable sweater. And it still has its tags on it. Okay, and check this out. Take my glasses off to read this little print. It's 100% naturally oil wool made in Ireland. Okay. And she got the XSL for the boobies. Yep. Guaranteed Irish. And it has the washing instructions on it for like hand washing and, and blocking and all that stuff. But isn't this gorgeous? It's absolutely gorgeous. You see those cables, and it's the cables is front and back. Yep. So thank you again, Ash. Oh, I love this. Love it. Love it. Can't wait for winter. And it's a little scratchy, so I'll have to wear like a little t-shirt up under it. But with this thing, I won't even have to wear like a jacket. You know what? Ash, you should probably, you could probably, you or Jen could probably stick this for me. Put buttons on it so I have another, I have a cardigan. <laughs> All right. So. That's pretty much it. That's all I got going on right now. I don't have, it's, it's you know, I'm, I've been busy at work and other things, and I just haven't really, and when I get home, I've just been tired, and I haven't really been in the mood to just, you know, create, and um, so I've been just working on things that I, my obligations to try to get those done. And then once I finish my obligation, maybe I'll be in the mood to create. It's like, you know, when people want you to make stuff for them and, and things like that, it kind of takes some of the joy out of the process. Um, yeah, you can make a little extra scratch, but it's still kind of, it just kind of, you know, it becomes like an obligation instead of something that's fun. So, yeah. And like the Migurumis, I don't, I'm not, I really don't like. I don't like making them that much. I mean, it's fun. The pigs I enjoy making because they're simple, um, they're easy, and yeah. But coming up with the pattern on my own, like doing that, um, I didn't even do a pattern. It basically freehanded, and there's no pattern. <laughs> there is no pattern for the Eminem. And um, I, mean, I can recreate it, but I'm not trying to write it down or anything like that. It's just, it's time consuming. I know the second one will go a lot faster than the first one because the first one I had to figure everything out. But I only like wrote down the basics, like how many stitches I use for the leg, how many stitches I use for the hand, you know, um, how, the, 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 doing the circle for the body. Basically, I took a dinner plate, like a paper plate. And I cut out the interior portion and I just knitting around increasing until it measured that size. I didn't count, you know, I didn't count, like count, count. I know I went up to 11 rows of increases and I just did that twice so I have a front and a back. And then I put the, um, the eyes were like uh, five or six pieces. It's like you had a small brown part. For the um, iris, you had the large white part. Then you had the, and that's times two. 
and then you had the eye, the eyelids, the eyebrow, the eyelids, the eyebrows, the excuse me, um, and then like to make the eyelids look like eyelids, you had I had to do a whip stitch around the edge of the eyelids a couple of times, so they kind of like hung over the eye like an eyelid would. And then I had to get felt for the M and my husband cut out the template for the M and after I he cut out the piece of felt and then after the I had to glue that on and after that dried I got some white puff paint and I put the white puff paint with the glitter um over the felt M to build it up and make it more special. And after I did that, I, I sold or started sewing everything together and tweaking stuff here and tweaking stuff there. Um, the arms, stuffing them, trying to get them just the same and everything. And ha having the fi finished product was a lot of fun. I wish I, I don't think I wish it, I wish I was taking more pictures of it. But, um, you know, I was glad to get it off my desk, so to speak, and back and, and into the hands of the person who wanted it. Um, and, and the thing about it is now someone else wants one. Yeah. So I'll probably be making a blue M&M &M <laughs> and stuff. But um, I got to do the Doobie Doobie Dobby, whatever his name is first. And uh, then we'll see if I'm in the mood to do a blue M&M &M this summer. So the only the thing I like about those are they're small projects. They don't take up a lot of room. Um, I could check and roll a little ball of yarn in the colors that I need for little items like the eyes and stuff like that. I don't have to carry around big skeins of yarn with me. And I really like that part about doing it. I prefer Susan Bates hooks. And they, they have a point here for pushing through. But it goes back wide quick. So... Um, I have to learn how to enjoy, I guess, the boy style hooks if I'm going to be making these things a lot because it's easier to get into your stitches with those. Uh, but when I was at the con, I saw people who had some crochet um, items, large ones and small ones and stuff like that. And... They were, some of them were made using like bulky and super bulky yarn, like from the bigger ones. And they were more like, I was like, uh, it just did not look, the stitch, it's, it's just the stitches was just too, I don't know, I didn't like it. The stitches were just too obvious to me. It wasn't like tight, you know, like I'm saying, like tightly crochet and the stitches were just out there. I didn't like the way it looked. Um, but you know, each to their own. And uh, so that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, upload this video and because uh, I got to cook some venison tonight.